prepare to speak to us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Just pray, pray, and pray, and pray. The Lord, you bless you. 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 In Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Yes, God bless you so much. Baba katika jina la Yesu, tuwa kushukuru. Waminifu wako ni wajabu. Haki yako ni ya milele. Utukufu wako bwana ni wakudumu. We now release the blood of Jesus Christ to take over this church, to take over this service, to cover this altar. We destroy Satan and his works. We break all yokes. Kila kikwazo kiondoke. Kila ungumu ukauke. Kila dhambi iishe. Kila udharimu uishe. The blood of Jesus ikafagia kila kitu. And establish the kingdom of God its righteousness. Baba, we now receive your, your servant. Abo memtuma memuanda na unabi wakanisa hili. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Let me ask a question before the preacher comes. You are here and you know very well. Umetenda thapi. I'm not speaking again about your neighbor, it's you. The way umetembea, ukiulizwa leo, kama unamani na mungu, you don't have peace with God. I say this, you don't, hauna amani na mungu, between you and God, kuna kitu kimesimama hapo, Ambao ni wovu uriotenda. Before the preacher preaches, God wants to cleanse you. Katika the real you, the real you, ure mtu mungu anaona real. There is an evil. Kuna ubaya, kuna jabu ambalo nilakishe tani chafu. Ambao ni na nena na kusema wewe huna haki. Huna wezo wako. You are evil. Jesus want to forgive you. God want to destroy kitu ambacho happened in your life. Na mujue ni mungu amenena. After this, kama huta kubali uoshwe, hauta kuwa na amani. You will never have peace. Let's pray. Kama unajabu kama hiru, asema, Jesus, forgive me. I'm evil. I've walked maisha ambao sina amani na wewe. Nataka unisamehe, buwana. Na sita wahi kuwaibisha tena. I want to serve you, Lord. Sita daganya tena. Sita jichafua tena. Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me. Usiogope, inuwa mkono tuwakulia kwa mungu. Thank you. Inuwa vizuri. Thank you. Inuwa. I sense something. I've sensed something about in the spiritual realm. And God wants to make people free now from darkness. Kuna giza imekufunga. Usidagani ino mkono hivi. You are bound by darkness. Kuna ushetani imekufunga. You must be free now. Ino mvizuri. Kibi hapa bere, haraka kuja hapa. Kuja, kibi hapa bere. Na weo na umpatia jia kuja, you could be one of them. Kuja hapa, kuja hapa. Kuja hapa. Nasema unje bele hapa. You must be free now. Yes, yes. Weza kuwa unadai weo ni mutu wakanisa miaka mingi, wherever you have come from. But the truth is, umejaa giza na ushetani wewe. Kuja hapa wakorewe. Nasema utoke mbere, usijifanya. Wajah nak kuasa. Syakara baziki ni ma. Yes, toki abe kabisa. Umekuwa katika dealing zako, ukifanya uongo kasi ni. Umekuwa if actually katika kutebea kuako, when gine you've been involved in immorality, ushetani mbaya sana. 
katika siri yako hata peke yako bedroom there are things you do karibu sahiro sikia munga za kukua come and receive his grace kuja haraka kuna wengine kuja hapa we must get you free from darkness tokea hapa bere haraka na usidanganye kwa maana usipotokea from today hutakuwa na amani and we don't want god to strike you with confusion just come yes kuja jesus is waiting for you wewe uli hapa baina na mikono yako tu juu na katika moyo wako mwambie bwana nioshe and i will never sin again i will never i will never i will never i will never umekuwa involved na uongo umekuwa involved na uongo i just sense god is so angry with the people who lie wajua kabisa katika dealing zako katika the way you do thing hata pahali umeaminiwa you lie you lie you lie my god just come here before hiyo kazi yako ishe for god cannot allow you kuendelea kumwabudu na kuendelea kuishi na kuendelea kuwa na mapato ambao imejaa uongo na unajisi god want to forgive you na kikusamehe you give you chance ya kuwa promoted ya kuwa established just come i don't know kuna kitu nasikia tu in my heart god is god want to do in this place tokea pale huko no sio hope mtu wewe ndio unajua ni mungu anakuita my god i worship you baba katika jina la yesu kila mtu aombe moyo wake just pray for your heart father in the name of jesus i pray you forgive these people na kwa uwezo wa damu ya kristo na agamiza kituo cha shetani katika moyo wako i destroy the might of the devil i destroy the works of darkness i destroy kira udharimu kutoka sasa damu ya kristo ikufugue damu ya kristo ikutakase wewe kutoka sasa the pasata raposo tapiko sota paposhanda yes i destroy the works of darkness i destroy evil in your body i destroy satan in your life he must leave you now mata pasekere reba bosaya jesus forgive these people cleanse this lady make her free by your blood in the name of jesus christ kutoka sasa mungu wa haki akurehemu mungu wa haki akutakase ina mikono juu sema sema bwana yesu nimesimama bere zako nina apa kwa jina lako la damu ya Yesu Kristo. Sema vizuri kwa jina lako na kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. Kwamba sitatenda dhambi tena. Nitakutumikia bila uchafu. Bila unafiki. Kwa moyo mwepesi unaokuti. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninaamini. Kitini sasa God bless you pigeni Yesu makofi. Amen. Amen. Today tunamuhubiri ambao he is very popular here. Jina lake huwa inatajwa hapa. Hatuwezi kaa bila kutaja wewe. Hebu tukaribishe Bishop Shioga kutoka America. Ahubiri jiri. Amen. Can you bedege dori? You are welcome. Oh you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wow, Bishop siku zote analipatia mshangao. Nilikuja kama nimesniki lakini mimi ni nani? Bishop amenioona. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, praise the name of the living God. Hey, can you see me? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Bwana ni mwema. Praise the name of the living God. Tuko hapa na tumekuja, tumekuja kwa fujo kwa sababu tulikuja tuko hapa. Yeah we landed yesterday morning we were very 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 tired at nine o'clock. Uh, Bishop this time tuliwacha wana ndege sijui ni kwa nini lakini Yesu ni bwana. Uh, praise the name of the living God and we are here with my wife and with my only big son Shuga and the, uh, 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 and his spouse tuko hapa kwa sababu nyinyi ni wetu. Si nyinyi ni wetu. 
na tunawapenda kwa fujo tunaombeaga sana na nilisema mkuje ushirika wa wa, wa, wa Thursday kule kwetu US bwana asiwe sana Bishop, I really value you. I, I value your anointing. I, I love you. Na kuambiaga mbele ya watu hawa wote. Mia kuna kitu yuspea wewe. Only my wife. Na hawa ingina, I can give you anything. I can give you anything. Hallelujah. Salamu nyingi kutoka kanisa letu ya US. Tunaendelea sawa sawa. Tunaendelea sana. COVID imeishaisha watu wameanza kukia kanisa. Tu kunaendelea kufika kamemia na kitu. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And my wife is here Stella. Samuel, aku hapa Reverend Stella. Iku hapa na mimi. Yeah, say hello to the church. Na bishop yuko hapa. Ujue lazima tuwe na office na bishop. Yes, and I have my, my, my firstborn son, Shugasi, mama yuko hapo na muwana. Niliwambia lazima, uyo ndiyo mkubwa kuriku mimi ureps. Eh, hey, Shugako hapo. And we have charity together with her today. And I hope, yes. Amen. Charity ni, ni friend ya bishop wetu sana. Praise the name of the living God. Ni wangapo wanijui mimi ni wauku, ni wangapo wanijui, wacha ni say, hey, watu wananijua bishop wakuna, ah, uwe, um, eh, ni kwa sababu ni mgeni. I, I want to, you, uh, to speak very briefly, kwa sababu bishop meniambia 35 minutes, na mi taenda haraka, mkino ni kituwa jasho, ni kuenda na mafute ya bishop. Mwanzo na tena sema, na sema tena ni kija hapa, the anointing that you do not respect will not open away for you, sema amen. I value the anointing of my bishop, I pray for him, leo ni kuwa na muona runinga, ni kuwa na service ya kwanza na pili, na nikambia mke wangu bishop anahitaji tukuendelea kuombewa maana mzigo alio nao ni mkubwa sana sema amen na nyinyi mshikilia na sisi tumshikilie eh hey, bwana huyu huyu mtu wa Mungu ndumshikilie jamani kama kuna kitu amekufanyia na umepata baraka zako kutoka kwa hili kanisa kama hata umepata mke kutoka kwa hili kanisa ama kakiosi kalianzia kwa hili kanisa ukaja kwa duka ukaja kwa supermarket jamani usisahau mali uliko toka sema amen Ujumbe ya wangu kwa ufupi unasema do not forget the quarry in which you are wind. Hiyo sijui kama inaleta. Usisahau kwale mahali ulitolewa. Sisi watu tulitoka tulitoka mahali fulani. We all came from somewhere and sometimes we forget where we came from. Eh, hey, wale tuko hapa kuna mahali ulikuwa mafuta ya mchungaji na mtumishi wa Bwana yamenena juu ya maisha yako mpaka sasa umeendelea hata kuliko wengine. Usisahau mahali ulikotoka. Sema amen. Isaiah nasema Isaiah 50 number 51 chapter number 51 and verse number 1 the Bible says listen to me you who follow after righteousness you who seek the Lord and look at the rock from which you are hewn and be of a whole of the paint from which you are dug wengine tulitoa kwa mashimo mabaya wengine tulitoa katika kwale mbaya unajua kwale ni mahali ambapo kuna mawe hayana hayana shape some of us were, did not even have no shape Tulikuwa tumekaa kuisha kama si mtumishi wa Bwana na watumishi wa Bwana wengine tungekuwa tumekuisha tungemalizwa na changaa na usherati na mama mengine lakini kwa sababu kuna watumishi walikuja wakanena katika maisha yetu tunaambiwa siku ya mchana wa leo do not forget the quarry in which you are hewn sema amen ambia jirani yako usisahau mahali ulikotoka muangalie na macho kabisa makali muambie usisahau malipo ulizopotoka Usisahau mahali ulipotoka. Hey, usisahau mahali ulikotoka. Na sasa naposema hivyo angalia atika unajua saa zingine ukiwa kanisani mtumishi analete neno la Bwana na neno ni kufanya ni kana kwamba uko katika senema. Unaona ka senema kako, unaona ka senema kako. Wewe unakuwa ndio unu star mwenyewe. Unaanza kuona mahali ulikuwa ukigaragara na mitungi ya changaa na hata mambo mengine. Unaona hako ka senema. Unaanza kurushia Bwana ashukuru na sema kweli nimetoka mbali. Usiseme Ebeneza kama haujajua mahali Mungu akimtoa. Sema amen. Do not forget. Eh, hey, wale walianza katika hili kanisa. Msisahau mahali mtumishi ametutoa. Msisahau maombi tumefunga kwa sababu yenu. Msisahau matoleo tumetoka kwa sababu yenu. Usisahau ikifika ni kusaidiana sasa tuingie katika hali ya kusaidiana. Sema amen. Kwaambia nilikuwa naambia mke wa bibi eh, baba Jimmy Naona bisho bado mzigo huu wa hii mjengo huu wa milioni 340. Naona umemsonga sana. Naona umemsonga mpaka unaona kweli hakuna kitu kingine amefikiria ni ule mzigo. Natsema katika jina la Yesu, usisahau mahali amekutoa ukawa vile ulivyo. Akiitana tuende kwa fujo. Sema amen. Na bisho bado nakoroga watu kule ngambo watoe milioni zao. Hii nyumba hiyo lazima tutanunua hiyo. Lazima tutainunua. Kama we uko hapa kuna break ile inakuja kwa sababu ya hiyo. Usisahau mahali umetoka. Maandiko yanasema look at Abraham your father and Sarah who bore you for I called him alone and blessed him and in Christ him. Sema amen. Katika mambo haya mahali ulizotoka usisahau lazima ukate kauli. 
You must make a decision. You must make a decision, say my man. You must make a decision, say my man. Leo ni ongetu ni marizi, ni mepoda ikashina tano. Ni seme, let me talk about, as you remember the quarter in which you are hewned. Make a decision. Make a decision. Make a decision. Make a decision. Unapo kumbuka mahali ulikotoka, jambo la pili nalo fuata ni kukata kauli. Kauli njema kauli la kumtukuza buwana. Joshua mtumishi wa buwana. Aliambiwa na mungu, my servant Moses is dead. Na wewe ndi utachukua wadhifa. Wewe ndi utaungoza hawa watoto katika shamba ambalo na wapatia. Shamba la edeni. Haka wambia lakini kwanza mkata kauli. Maisha itapuanza lazima mkata kauli. What we see around, even what we see right now. Kuna mtu moja alika chini mtu mshi wa mungu. Haka sema ni mkata kauli. Hatuta kaka nisa la jengo na mabati. Sema amen. Ni kauli is a decision. Akasema kanisa le tumekaa tumekomaa. Hatuta isi kanisa la mabati tena. Akaketi chini na, na, na decision. Alipokata kauli akasema kunjeni wale tunaongoza na wao. Wakakaa chini wakasema tutajenga kanisa la gorofa, kanisa la kifahari, kanisa la mtukuze buwana. Kanisa hili tukonara hapa limetokana kwa sababu ya decision. There is power in decision making. Hey, there is power in decision making. Hata ina decision nafanya, inaza kuwa mbaya, inaza kuwa nzuri. Sema amen. Wacha ni wambie, mambo yote munaona katika dunia hii. Haya yote munaona katika dunia hii. Ni mtu moja aliketitini ya kakata kauli. Siku moja ni kisema kulikuwa na radio moja. Ilikuwa na ito KBC. Wala wanakumbuka, wala walika yetu. KBC. Saa nane tukitoka kanisani. Tungenda mstari ya kwanza. Tukua tunaona mtu kufurais. Alikuwa kanisani. Kila jumapiri maana ilikuwa ni monopole. Radio moja ilikuwa ndiyo unasema matangazo. Unarawa unasema nini? Kila saa nane. Ndilikuwa unasema. Maana kulikuwa na monopole. Lakini kuna mwana moja alisema kuisha mambo imekuisha sasa. Akakata kauli. Wakati unakata kauli kuna mambo ya takusonga. Kuna mambo ya takumiza. Kuna shida utapata. Mwana ume na ito mashari ya akakata kauli. He, akakata kauli. Na kuambia wakati unakata kauli usiogope atasema nini, watasema nini. When you make a decision, you must decide, I am going to the very best of myself. Chama amen. Akaanza radio ya inoro na citizen. Leo hii mtubishi wa buwana, yuko inoro wakihubiri kwa sababu kuna mwana mamoja, aliekosa kuogopa shida na matatizo, akakata ukauri ya kasema, haita kuwa radio moja peke yake, itatoka nyingi. You must make a decision in your life. Na siyo raisi hivo sana. Nilikuwa ninaona akashikwa kasongwa station zikafungwa lakini leo hii tuna enjoy station kama ishina kitu za mtu moja. It takes some courage to make a decision. Even when our bishop had made a decision ya kununuwa kanisa na milioni mia tatu na msini na arubaine jamani ni hatua kari. Inaitaji maombi, inaitaji kujitolea. Lakini wewe ambayo unahusika na hii huduma lazima ukumbuke mahali umetorewa. Sema amen. Sema amen. Make a decision. Mwana ume mefanya radio zikawa nyingi kwa sababu ya kata kauli mtu moja. Leo hii kuna radio ya kijaruo, kuna radio ya kiswahili, kuna citizen, kuna inoro, kuna ingine mozi, kikamba wakonayo. Mana kuna mwana ume moja alikata kauli. Ndugu yangu siku ya mchana wa leo, amua mkua mtu wakataka kauli. Sema amen. What is the decision? Let's just see what the decision in a minute. Eh, ni, 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 ni seme decision ni katika eh, mafumbo mafupi Eh, hey, in the name of Jesus So what is a decision? Yangu inaseme na kizungu A decision is a conclusion or a resolution reached after a consideration Munaroi imesema ni mnagani? A decision is a <coughs> A decision is a conclusion A conclusion comes when something has been made, made in place. Maniku anasema katikida buda muhubiri. Now the conclusion of the whole matter. It is to fear the Lord and obey his commandment. That is a decision we are taught to make. As men and women of God. The conclusion of the whole matter now. It is to fear the Lord and follow his commandment. That is a sign of a decision. 
Watu wameamua leo tutamtumtumtumtumwa Mungu Mungu. We have agreed to praise the Lord. Tumeamua kumtengeneza kumwimbia Bwana. Decision is something that is made by somebody individually. Wakati uliokoka ama umeokoka ama utaokoka, ni kauli yako wewe mwenyewe utafanya. Ni kauli yako wewe mwenyewe utafanya. Utakatoa mali yako kusaidia wagonjwa na wale wasiojiweza na kazi ya Bwana. Ni kauli yako unafanya. Sema amen. Na hiyo kauli nafanya itakufuata ina nguvu. There is power in division. Inasema hivi, a resolution is a decision. A conclusion is a decision. A settlement can act as a decision. A commitment can act as a decision. A resolve, a resolvement can act as a decision. Unaona wakati mwingine mwaka unapofika mwaka unafika. Eh tunaenda kuruka mwaka sasa tukaribu tufike kuruka mwaka. Unasikia watu wanasema leo nitakata kauli mwaka huu nikiuruka kuna mambo nitaacha. Sisemi hayo mambo. Maana mambo mengine tunasema tunaacha na kuwaga ni misisimuko. Unaenda siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili unajikuta bado ni yule yule tu. Naongea makusudi decision that are anchored in the word of God. Can somebody shout amen? A decision that is anchored in the in the word of God. Because the word of God ni power kuliko mwanamume mwanadamu fulani. Maana niko nasema Joshua, hey wacha tuende naenda haraka maana kimtubisha na meandia dakika kadhaa nitasema. Joshua anasema, ameambia watu, Joshua Moses is dead. And then God tells Moses, uh, Joshua, now ni wewe uta take over. Uende uchukue hao na Israeli ambao walikuwa na mkinai Musa, wanamkataa Musa, wanamujibu Musa, uende na wao sasa na uwafundishe jinsi Mungu amewatoa mbali. Uwafundishe walikotoka. Kuna hatari kubwa wakati Mkristo anasahau mahali ametolewa. Kuna shida kubwa hali mtu Mkristo anatolewa mahali anasahau mahali alitolewa. Wengine wetu kitoa shuhuda mali tulitolewa hapa tungekufa tungeziko tumeisha lakini nashukuru Bwana hatusahau mahali tulikotoka usisahau mahali kwa jiwe lile ambalo ulitolewa kwaro Wengine tulikuwa tuna sura mbaya Wengine hatungependeka Kama mimi nilikuwa mpaka niambiaga watu nyure yangu ilikuwa inakaa kama fuko Uliwaga na jureha na huko Nikukosa diet, balance diet Wengine wetu tulikuwa na matomafa haungependwa na, na mbega mke wangu ulinipenda kwa nini na mazigo yangu yalikuwa yamekaa pepe. Lakini unapokata kauli ya kiungu hakuna kuna mambo mengine hautaona. Joshua anaambia wana wa Israeli, nataka mkumbuke before Joshua said mimi na nyumba yangu tutaenda kumtumikia Bwana, alikuwa ameona shida na kizungumkuti ya wanadamu. Anawaita Joshua anaita wana, wana, wana wa Israeli wote katika mlango wa 24 Joshua chapter number 24 Anawaita wote na wambia nimewaita hapa manaka inaonekana kana kwamba mumesahau Mungu ametufanyia nini Wana wa Israeli wako wanatenga majurufali wanapigwa na umia na kusononeka na kuumizwa kwa hivyo Joshua amechukua wadhifa amechukua jukumu ya kuongoza wana wa Israeli akawagawia mashamba lakini ameona tabia zao na mienendo yao ni kana kwamba wamesahau mahali walikotoka usisahau mahali ulikotoka usikae kama ngere naambia watu wa ngambo don't be like christian ngere ngere ni mnyama mjinga mjinga anakimbishangwa na simba na simba ni nyama mnajua ngere ni nini wadho huu Hamujui wadho ni nani? Wadho is a very stupid animal. Wanakimbishwa na naona I like watching wildlife. Anakimbishwa na simba na anakimbishwa na ni nyama ni kitoe cha simba. Lakini kuna mahali anafika ngaga anasahau alikuwa amekimbishwa anaanza kula nyasi. Usiwe mkristo kama ngere anasahau mahali Mungu amekutoa. Hey! Ukisahau mahali umetarawa na Mungu, hautajua Mungu ni nani. Tunajua Mungu ni nani tukiona mahali ametutoa, mahali ametufikisha na mahali anatupeleka. Shout a big amen. A big amen. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo Yoshua anaita wana wa Israeli. Anawaambia nimeona tabia zenu na mienendo yenu haimtukuzi Bwana. Hamjengei Bwana madhabahu, hamumsifu Bwana. Anawaita katika mkutano anawaambia mstari wa kwanza nitaenda haraka kama chapraita. Mstari wa kwanza then Joshua gathered all the tribes of the Israel of the Israel to Shechem and called to the elders of Israel to, uh, for the head for the judges and for the officers and for the and he presented himself to God. Akawaita watu wote wakubwa waliojulikana waliokuwa kiongoza akamwambia nataka mkae hapa chini tunaende tuongee Mungu anapotaka kuleta revival 
Lazima kizungumkuti na shangara bagala zitoke katika maisha yetu. Hello. Revival does not come when not when, wa, wakati watu wajajipanga. Maana revival inaweza kuja ushangae. Lazima upate upate kujua revival ni nini. Joshua na waita msero hivi anasema and Joshua said unto all the people that says the Lord God of Israel your father including Terah Terah was the father of Abraham a father of Abraham and the father of Noah dwelt on the other side of the river in the old times and they served other god and nawakumbusha msisahau baba zenu na hata Ibrahima ambaye ni baba wetu waliishi upande mwingine na baba zao hawakumjua Mungu wa kweli sema amen Sema amen. Kuna athari wakati kanisa halijajua Mungu wa kweli. Anawaita na wambia. Nimewaita ni wambie mnakumbuka baba yenu Ibrahima na baba zao waliishi upande mwingine hawakuwa wanaabudu Mungu wa kweli. Walikuwa naabudu Mungu wa miwa wa jua the moon god. And so the children of Israel were forgetful. They were so forgetful. Ninaomba siku ya mchana wa leo dokana usisahau kitu kidogo kidogo Mungu amekutendea katika ibada ya leo na katika kanisa hili sema amen hiyo kidogo tu inatuma Mungu alete mengi anawaita na waambie mlango wa tatu then i told your father abraham then i took your father abraham from the other side of the river the other side wewe na mimi tulikuwa upande mwingine upande wa kuisha upande wa kuangamizwa upande wa kukosa chakula upande wa kuangaliwa tulikuwa kule nje bali kwa sababu ya rehema za Bwana tumefuka upande mwingine tumefuka upande mwingine kufuka upande mwingine si kusema usahau mahali ulikotoka usisahau na historia yako mahali ulitoka Joshua anawaambia then i took your father abraham from the other side of the river why because abraham was a faithful man baba yake ibrahim atera waliabudu mingu wengine na mungu akaona katikati ya watu wote ibrahim ana moyo wangu ana roho wangu ananielewa na angetaka ajichanganye na wale mingi wengine maandiko yanasema then i took up your father from other side of the river led him through out all the land of Canaan and i multiplied his descendants and gave them i gave him to Isaac anamkumbusha nilitoa Abraham kule mbali mahali hata angezaa kuna mahali unaweza kaa and the, the, the environment is not going to be conducive for your development Ibrahim angeza akiwa huko mahali ambapo hakuna haja na Mungu akamtoa wengine wetu hatungefanya biashara tunazozifanya kama hatungekuwa katika upande wa Bwana wengine wetu tumeratajirika kwa sababu tuliingia katika upande wa Bwana mahali kuna ideas na wahubiri wanaambia ideas na njia za kwenda mbele anaendelea kuangumbusha verse number 4 to Isaac I gave to Jacob and Esau to Esau I gave the mountains of sea and to possess but to Jacob and his children went down to Egypt mnakumbuka habari hiyo yote nataka nikuje mahali Joshua alisema maana walikataa kukumbuka mahali walikotoka before Joshua stood and said and for me today in my house I will serve the Lord ni kwa sababu wa shirika wale walikataa kuona mahali walikuwa wametoka usisahau mahali umetoka usisahau mahali umetoka maana ukikumba hali umetoka utapewa hatua nyingine ya kwenda mahali kwingine. Mahali unaenda haujui ni Mungu anajua. Lakini anasema usahau mahali mahali alikusaidia. Joshua anaendelea kusema mstari wa tano. I also sent Moses and Aaron and plagued Egypt according to what I did among them. Afterward I brought you out. Anawaambia nyinyi wana wa Israeli, kanisa hili la Israeli amkumbuki vile nilimtoa Musa. Na Musa alikuwa katika hali ya kufa. Mama yake akamtupa katika kipu cha kwa machi kwa mjuzi ya Bwana akaokolewa akaenda kwa farao akafundishwa aka, aka administration for 40 years. Hey, hey, hamkumbuki nilifanya hivyo kwa sababu yenu nini? Tafadhali usisahau kwa, kwa, kwa lile jiwe ulitoka. Sema amen. Anawaambia tena, nilipochukua Musa nikamweka nyumba ya farao na hakuwa mfarao alikuwa muhibru nikarudi nikamtoa nikampeleka jangwani miaka 40 nikimfundisha uchungaji he he uchungaji ndio sasa aje ya wachunge mmesahau na baada ya hapo nikatoa tena Musa tena nikamulete akawa mchungaji wenu miaka 40 Musa alikuwa amesoma kabisa as a demonstrator in the house of Pharaoh sema amen alipo amesoma tena uchungaji miaka 40 
Hata sijui watu gani gani tumesoma miaka 120 katika mambo ya Mungu. But Joshua anamwambia, "Mmesahau. Mmesahau ya kwamba Musa alifanya haya yote kwa sababu yenyu." Sema amen. Anamwambia hivi ni Musa nilimleta ili kwa sababu yenyu. Kuna mambo Mungu anafanyanga kwenu nini na kwetu sisi. Ndio ya kwamba ujue kuna Mungu andaish, anaishi milele. Sema amen. Mustari wa sita anasema, "Then I brought your father out of Egypt." And, ke, uh, and, and, mm, 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 and came to, to the Red Sea and the Egyptian pursued your fathers with the chariot and the horsemen to the Red Sea I tell you kabla George wajasema hiyo alikuwa ameona watu ambao ni shingo ngumu He narrated all what God had done in their lives Why because they had forgotten the blessings of the Lord that were always accompanying them Sema hallelujah Usisahau baraka za Bwana ambazo amekupatia sio kwa sababu ulikuwa mwema ni kwa sababu ulikuwa Mungu anataka kubariki sema amen kupitia watumi, watumishi wa Bwana anawaambia mimi niliwatoa ni wana wa Israeli mlipotolewa kule Israeli Misri na farao alikuwa amekaa ameka ngumu sana Mungu akalete mambo kumi 10 plagues na mliona Muliona farao akikaa na viura katika nyumba yake ya sitting room. Muliona nikifanya red sea kwa na maji meupe me, me, ya damu. Muliona nikileta nyasi. Oh, nimeleta ni eh, eh, wale wale wadudu wakakula. Amjaona. Alafu nikawatoa katika utumwa. Nilipowatoa katika utumwa, farao akaona sio vyema wale wachakazi wake waende. Maandiko yanasema farao akagauzania akawakimbiza ili awaruje tena. Maandiko yanasema Musa akafanya maji apate kupita kando na kando sema amen na wakapita sasa hapo ndio naona hamkumbuki wakati walikuja kuwafuata ni mimi Mungu wa mwenyewe nilipoenda na supana zangu nilienda na box toolbox yangu nikafungua miguu ya farasi ya magari ya farasi yale magari yakawa ngumu kutembea sema haleluya kwa sababu yenu nini Joshua na muone huruma ni kizazi ambacho hakioni mahali kimetoka Yaani Mungu anakuja na shukuru na, na, na shukuru drama zake na players zake anafungua magurudu ya mwenyewe ya wana wa, ya wana wa, eh, wa Misri alafu anashindwa kutembea kwa sababu gurudumu ambalo halina miguu linakuwa ngumu sana kulitembeza sema amen ikawa ngumu sana kwao kutorokea maji Naye Mungu akaleta yale maji akawafunika. Haleluya. Na bado wamesahau. Nasema siku ya mchana wewe usisahau mahali ulitolewa wewe. Ambia jirani yako sitahao mahali nitolewa mimi. Sitasahau tena. Eh, hey, sitasahau tena. Kusahau ni dhambi by the way. Wamevuka mwisho. Mungu amefungua miguu yeye mwenyewe. Kuna wakati mwingine Mungu anakuja kufanya mambo. Na lazima Mungu lazima uende katika ulimwengu wa kiroho uone Mungu akifanyia mambo sema amen sema amen Mustari wa 8 anasema and I brought you out of the land of Amorites who dwelt on the other side of the Jordan and I fought, I fought with you oh akawapigania vita wengine hapa tumetoka vita hata leo shaitan alikuwa anataka kukuua jana shaitan alikuwa amepanga kukuua hata hata leo 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 ukitoka pale wewe wewe shaitani hapangui ngui ni shaitan ni shaitan yes azote ni kutupangia mabaya yes ni wanatuazia mema sema haleluya sema haleluya hata unaweza toka kanisani hapa leo na shaitani hajali kama ulitoka kanisa ni upako ambao uko nao unamsua shaitan na kujua neno na bwana kama shaitani alikujia yesu mwenyewe akamwambia imeandikwa Did you know devil knows the Bible more than we guys? Anaelewa maandiko kuliko wewe. Kwa hivyo lazima uende mbele ya shaitan. Niliambia watu kule ngambo, hata hizi nyimbo zingine tunoimbanga kukinywa kioro kahora kinywa tamaku nde hatuimbi tena. Hiyo hakuna. Shaitan is like a flood ni kama shaitan anaruka mbele yako maana umezembeka. Mkristo ambaye amezembeka anatakiwa apigwe sindano ya kwenda mbele. Maana shaitani anaenda wake mbele kama mtego. Na wewe unaimba gokinyokioro kwa hora kinye tema. Hakuna hiyo watu hivi kwetu tena. Tumebariki naimba gokinyokioro ndio yenye kinye tema twine because if you don't go faster devil is gonna go ahead of you and will grab your blessings. Hey shout hallelujah. Usiwe mba muomo. Baadiko anasema since the time of John the Baptist until now. 
the kingdom of God sovereign violate and the violate why not see mtu anakaa kama hoy 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 wengine wakipiga makofi bishop wengine wakipiga makofi ati unapiga makofi hivi shaitani apiga makofi hivi uwezi piga makofi na zaidi ukisikia hivyo lazima utitokezee maana unajua wewe ni nani wale watu wanajua Mungu wao they will do exploit they will be strong and they will do exploits hallelujah hallelujah ninamalizia nikisema Joshua anawakumbuka anawakumbusha anawaambia then Barak the son of Zippo the king of Moab arose to make war against the Israel I send and called Baram to the son of God to curse you hata Baram alitumwa aende arahani nyinyi wana wa Israeli inamaanisha kuna waliza hao mahali walikuwa wametoka unajua bible haindaki haindikaki bible does not write things for fun anawaambia siku siku kumbukeni siku moja Baram ametumwa na Barak aende awarahani nyinyi yeye yeah, hakujua wana wa Mungu hawarahani wingi sema amen whatever god has blessed can never be cast na tamko umebarikiwa leo umebarikiwa leo umebarikiwa leo bwashara yako imebarikiwa watoto wako wamebarikiwa harusi yako imebarikiwa eh hey, umebarikiwa pokea hiyo ni yako kaa kama mtu amebarikiwa sema amen na lazima ujue umebarikiwa na ukae kama umebarikiwa niliambia mtu kule wetu bishop bishop kuna mchungaji wetu mmoja sitamtaja unamjua akija kanisani nilimwambia nitakupiga teke kama ni teke unataka akija kanisani anatembea na stari ya kusikiliwa huruma anatembea na stari ya kuomba na ni mchungaji nikamwambia hautaleta hiyo tabia ya kusikiliwa huruma unasikiliwa huruma unasikiliwa huruma kwa nini na huko na mikono na miguu nikamwambia kuna wengine walikufa wakati ulipata hiyo shida na wewe ume uko hai usitembee katika hali ya kuonewa huruma Tangia siku ya jona mbatizaji mpaka leo ni wale wana nguvu wanataka ma, wanataka mali yao. Bye bye Isaya anasema nikiwa mgonjwa na nikae kama sio mgonjwa. Nikiwa fukara nikae nikae na kama nina pesa. Watu wakisema watoe pesa unatoa nikana kwamba wewe umegoroka lakini Mungu anaona. Kuna imani nyingine kwa kama ya mgoroki na Mungu anaona hiyo. Unaweka mbago zako kwa barabara maana yake uliona umekutajirika unakuta zimeenda zako nyanya zako zimeenda maana lazima uwe mtu ambaye ana possess Anawaambia hivi Baram Barak walikuwa wametuma Baram aende awarani Lakini mimi Mungu mumenisahau ni mimi nileta malaika mbele ya ule punda Punda aliona mbele ya mwanaume mwingine akaona mapanga mawili Alafu anapiga punda twende ni karani wana wa Israeli ninasema waliyebarikiwa hawaraniki. Hata kile kimekaroka na shaitan kuanzia leo kikuja kikuharibu wacha kibariki kiwa baraka. Wale wanakusimanga wanasema mmekuwa mjinga kwenda kanisa wacha waone baraka za Bwana juu ya kwenda kanisa. Wale wanasemanga umeuza mboga siku mingi sana wacha waone umekoka kuko kwa kiosi kisasa. Wana yuko kwa duka sasa na kwa supermarket. Haleluya. It is doable because our God is God. Sasa punda amepiga magoti. Amepigwa twende ni karani watu wamebarikiwa. Unajua mimi hata ukinira ukinitusi sitiraniki mimi. Na lazima ujue Mungu, lazima ujue Mungu. Nomo akomenye ga yate dogerume ka we muradhime. Bible calls you a fearful and wonderful maid. Stay like you are made wonderful. Walk like you are made fearful. Wacha shaitani akisikia harufu yako hata kama inanuka jasho inamustua. Sema amen. Bara mwanaenda bara kaenda Qur'ani wana wamebarikiwa na kanisa hili limebarikiwa. Na pesa na mapesa, na afya ya mili, na majengo na manyumba, na mashamba na bahari. Haleluya! Hiyo ni yako chukua kwa hey! Na ukitajirika usisahau mahali ilitoka. Kuna mali ilikuwa nakula mboga na ngarango. Na mbega huyu mke wangu ni mke wangu huyu siku moja nilikuwa naenda nanua garago. Garago sijui kama unajua ni nini. Ni ile mafuta inadawa kwa ngombe inakarangwa, mafuta inauzwa, inabaki nyama nyingine na kaa kama dindoho hapo. Inakaa. Ukiweka kwa madhara unakuambia ama kwa sukuma. Inakaa ni kama ile kigunyu ilikuwa natoka kwa nyumba ya, ya, ya nyasi. 
Naambiaga mke wangu usisahau mahali tulitoka. Ukibarikiwa kuwa baraka kwa mtu. Ukipewa kuwa mpeanaji. Maana tunajua Mungu tulimuona. Wengine tulikuwa tunacheka tunanyoa box bishop si kwa sababu tulikuwa ni style. Nikukuliwa na chawa na gesh yale hao. Unajua box lakini kuliwa na chawa. You cannot cast that which God has blessed and you are highly favored and you are blessed of the Lord. Punda na inama anasema unaniuliza nini? For the first time don't don't get spook. Unajua punda ilikuwa inaongea ndio Joshua kiambia hawa wanaume hamkumbuki bila mlikuwa mnaenda kumaliziwa na kukasiwa hata punda ikaongea. Maana huyo jamaa alipiga punda twende punda anaona malaika na upanga lakini mwanaume haoni. Ninaomba macho yenu leo yafunguliwe na muone mmebarikiwa kwa fujo. Mufunguliwe macho ya kiroho na macho ya mwili ndio muone nyinyi watu maridadi, watu wamebarikiwa, watu wana neema, watu wana uzima, watu wanaenda kwa Mungu. Hey! Punda for the first time akapiga maoni ya sema ati my friend nishakukarali hata siku nyingine. Ditako kararia. Kwani we uoni? Nini iko hapa mbele? Joshua na wakumbuka kama punda aliongea kwa niaba yenu ndio mjue Mungu ni nani kwa nini msifanye mw... this was all about making a decision because they made they had made some wrong decisions my god my my god and then and then verse number 10 but i would not listen to balam therefore he continued to bless you even that point god would not even to balam who was going to cast the, the the blessed one he continued blessing them Joshua kitambo aseme nimekitoka. Nimetoka na nimeamua mimi mwenyewe, mimi na nyumba yangu. Hey, hey. kuna mahali itafika. Wale mnaenda na wao wanatoatoa value kwa kwa utawawacha sasa. Anybody who does not value in your heart, value in your life, ana unamwacha. Mtu anakuambia kanisa ni boring na ni kuitisha kuitisha wachana na yeye. Maana anabariki yule na peana sema amen. Anabariki yule anasikia na huruma sema amen. Kuna watu watakuja wametumwa na shetan. Wabadilishe nia yako na Bwana. Kataa. Uma Mungu kama ngokoma vile ni umaga mtingo ya ngombe. Hata kama inaenda kuenda kwa dibu inajua ninaenda kwa dibu lakini nitanyonya damu ya mwisho. Kataa na Bwana kama ngokoma. Haleluya. Hata kama maisha itakuwa mbaya sana uma Mungu kama ngokoma. Haleluya. Ingia kwa mundano kisema kafagwe mwana wa Gai. Haleluya. Kule kwa nimwache Bwana. Lazima tukate kauli. Haleluya. Tukate kauli haleluya. Kata kauli haleluya. Any and you must know God in person. Ni lazima ujue Mungu kibinafsi, intimately. Dokamen usijue Mungu akina mama zako. Unajua sisi tulilelewa katika kanisa ambalo tuliambiwa tulienda kanisa kwa sababu mama yangu alikuwa anaenda kanisa. Hadi nilipokuta kanisa la apostoli kwa kihubiri mwaka 88, nikasikia kupe kuenda kanisa kwa sababu ya mama yangu nitapiga koti mbele yangu mbele, mbele ya Mungu peke yangu. Nikampenda bwana kwa fujo. Ogeko lake inana Jesu dasi ya wedo. Haleluya mwendo wa kwa Jesu. Ah, na impaka nakuwa kama crazy. Maana najua mahali amenitoa. Najua mahali amenitoa. Sitatoa hiyo testimony kuna mwaka 1990 bishop 1990 Moirole can tell you that. I was caught up by waze nilikutana na vijana wanne. Na siku hiyo nilikuwa naitwa Mwangito. Nilikuwa nimeenda kilasi ya karate. Sasa hii naweza kuchengea naweza kuchengea naweza kuchengea nilikuwa nimelearn Ukisikia mtu anaitwa Mwangito nilikuwa nimesoma karate club Ningekuja nifanye 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 hivi nifanye hivi nifanye hivi nifanye to hiyo ilikuwa ni shida imeisha Lakini nilipokolewa hii vitu ilikufa hima hii hii shega ilikufa Kwa hivyo nikakutana na vijana watatu watatu nikienda nyumbani chioni moja na wakakuja nikasema kisema hapa kuna piganangwa na leo tuko na shoka damu yangu ikainuka mtu ameokoka miezi sita. kama hujalipa gharama kwa huu falme tarajia utalipa haleluya tunalipa gharama wengine ni kurara njaa wengine ni kutubwa na wake zao wachungaji wao oh, wengine ni eh, kuchamshia watoto mawa wakisema bado inakoroga ndio usiku ikuje haleluya ulipe gharama Saingine gharama ya siku hizi nikutoa tu mali kwa nyumba ya Mungu na Mungu anasema haleluya. Na nilikuwa ni karate man. Lakini nilikuwa nimekufa kiga. Wakanipiga vita kama nyoka. Vita kali sana kama nyoka. Mama wetu anajua pale wa Miss Jogona wanajua walifikiri nimekufa. And I was laid in the forest for four hours. Nilipigwa saa moja jioni. 
nilijisikia saa ine ya usiku nimekatakatwa nimetupa mstuni hadi nikufe na Mungu ni mzuri ika mdomo hii walipiga kana imbaga sana sana na kuhubiri sana sana sema haleluya Saitani ni mjinga haki ni mjinga sana na nilipomaliza hiyo baada ya kurazwa hospitali na kutoka sasa naimbiaka Mungu hata niko na kanisa kubwa US naambia na wazungu you know what god is good hey you better you better love him man nawaambia hiyo walifikiri sitasema hivyo na kumbukaga mahali ali Mungu alinitoa let me just wind up Joshua anasema mstari wa 11 then he went over the Jordan and came to Jericho and the men of Jericho fought against you also the Amorite the Perizzite the Canaanite the Hittite the sugar type oh the sugar type hallelujah and the hivatites and the jebusite but i delivered them from your hand god is reminding us where mali tumetoka kumbuka ni wakora ngapi walikuja kwenu ama kwa barabara hawakugonga maana mungu alikuwa na wewe sema amen mesema amen hiki tumoja tu kumbuke leo uambie mungu nitatoa gharama ya kile umenifanyia remember the quarry in which you are hewn maana mawe ikiwa kwale haina adabu haina haina chochote haiwezi jenga nyumba mawe inatoka kwale na inafanywa kazi mingi sana matindo na masururu inangoa mwamba alafu huyo jamaa anakaa chini na kutua sweat sana anachonga mawe ya six hii nyumba imejengwa na mawe na ilitoka kwa kwale ilitengenezwa vizuri sana ndio ikuje tengeneze nyumba kumbuka mahali ulikuwa kama ni shagara bagara mtu ambaye alikuwa nani kama anayenyoka anayenyoka leo hauenyokangi unatembea straight mabago yako juu kumbuka mahali ulitolewa na mtupigie Mungu na mali yako na nguvu zako zote sema haleluya Joshua anasema then i sent honed before you which drove them out of before you ah, also the two kings of amorite but with your sword and with your but my with my sword and my spear hata wale walikuja wafalme wawili Wawambalize. Mimi Mungu nilikuja na upanga wangu. Nikawatenganisha. Ndio mkaendelea na safari. Joshua anawakumbusha. Na jeraka kaige kaige sema amen. Nimekuja kuambia tena na tena. Tukumbuke mahali Mungu ametutoa. Bishop akisimama aseme mahali kanisa limetoka. Hapa hapa kuna mahali walikuwa naitwa YMCA. Hapa hapa hapa. Mtajua kuna gharama wamelipa wengine. Mimi nimeara kwa bishop hapa. Best bishop ni best yangu. Ninaheshimu ni, ni, ni mafuta. Nimelala kwa bishop hapa ni Kenyatta ama ni wapi? Dongo Kemadi. Dongo alikuwa analala kwa nyumba juu na mimi nalachini. Msipite na tukuonga kutukoka kabisa. Kwanza mimi nikitoka Moro inaona ni damu mbichi. Ina nikuonga kunikoka kabisa. Dongo analala mpaka anangorota. Haleluya. Na sasa hiyo mama dogo ametukorogea makarati na ma, na, ma, na ma, tumekula tume tumenyie jioni na bishop hapo nje. Bishop anaenda kwa rumu yake. Sisi tunaenda na karumu kadogo hapa Kemadi. Nikikumbuka vile bishop alinituza naweza mleta kwangu arale siku tatu akae akule na akunywe Todo hedio itare ni hata itegea haleluya sasa nimepata nimsaidie nimbariki sema amen usisahau mahali mafuta ilimwagiriwa ukapata kupasuka I wind up verse number 14 that in, I have given you a land for which you did not even labor I told the people from the US Maniko anasema mtaishi mashamba mtaishi kwa manyumba hamujajenga. I have seen it with my own eyes. Mimi niko na nyumba mbili US na sijajenga na tunaishi kwa hizo nyumba. Bishop anakujaga na kuwa huko. When you trust in the Lord and have God with all your locona, all your brain, you the all hata makucha yako impende Bwana. Kuna mambo utakuta umekuwa nayo. Haleluya. Na huko unatarajia uko nayo. Maana Mungu si adhumani, anabariki kwa fujo. Na na anabariki anabariki kwa fujo. Naomba leo Mungu akubariki. Mali ilikuwa uoni Mungu aanze kumuona Mungu. Mungu afungue macho yetu ya kiroho. Maana macho mengine yanakuwaga na bishwa ionaga mambi. Ona Mungu na muone Mungu mkubwa. Na bariki na ukubwa wake. As the Bible says verse number 14, I've given you a land which uh, which you did not even labor. A city which you did not even build and you dwell the, you dwell in them and you ate of the vineyard and all it grew which you did not even plant. Remember the quarry in which you are wind. Anawakumbusha, mnakula matunda na mazao na manyumba na majamba hamu kufanya hivyo. Sio ni Mungu mzuri. Ni nini hatuwezi kupea Mungu? Ni milioni moja. Ni pesa ni nini hatuwezi imagine? Isaya anasema if I were hungry Isaya ndio anasema na ni Mungu anasema if I were hungry I would not ask you for anything 
If I were Thursday, I would not even ask you. Why? Because the word and what belong to the word belongs to me. Mungu anasema kama ningekuwa na njaa, singewaitisha kitu ya kukura. Kwa hiyo gaida hutaka. Gaida hutaka. Na kama ningekuwa na kiu, singeonja maji ya kukunywa. Maana maji ni yangu, matunda ni yangu, manyumba ni yangu na hata wewe unanikataa kunipea kitu wewe ni wangu. Nikikohuora sasa hii utakuwa mtu ambaye mtu mzito. Unajua mtu mzito ni mtu ambaye anapumzi. But Bible says as I wind up. 14. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away all gods so small g. All gods which your father served on the other side of the river. Anambia hawa, leo 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 nasema kama kiongozi wenyu, baba zenyu walitumikia mingu wengine. Walifanya sarakazi, walifanya vituko na sarakazi. Leo ni meamua, sasa muache, muache hiyo tabia mbaya mbovu, mushike ni mungu kama mungu na mutumikia mungu kama mungu. Joshua likuwa mbaka anatoa mata kama mirio ni akiwa, akawa iwithia. Akiwa iwithia. Verse 15, and if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of Amorites whose land you dwell, but as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. That is the conclusion of the whole matter. That is now conclusion. Wakati watu wamekata, wewe usikate kumtubia mungu. Wakati wamekataa kutoa, wewe usikatai kumtolea mungu. Wakati tuambio tuende is, usikatai kuenda. Joshua kasema, nimeona sasa, muko na shingongumu. Nime wakumbusha vile mmetendewa na mungu. Leo ninasema, mimi na nyumba yangu. Na hata nataa kusema, labda Joshua haku analinganisha muke wake. Labda likuwa, najua mimi na nyumba yangu, mimi na roho yangu, na makucha yangu, na nyuiri. Na hata biyatu, kile nilikuwa nacho, nita mutimikia mungu. Tono mutumia kono wakile, muke wangu anaweza kata. Anaweza kata. Na, na, na haza story, anaweza kusema, Nairobi, Mombasa, Nairobi, Mombasa. Anaweza kata. Muke wangu, eh. kwa ni kuliena ni mna gani? Pige Yesu makofi, pige Yesu makofi, haleluya. Sisemi ya mekata, mandiku anasema, kila mutu watapiga goti mbele ya buwana na atoe na kara ya kiri ya mefanya. Kwa hivyo mimi na nyumba yangu, nyumba yangu ni hii. Hii nyumba ni Mercedes inabebaga mungu wa mingu wa miungu. Mfalme wa falme. This is a Mercedes that carries the Lord of Lord. Kwa hivyo hii nyumba, hii gari, hii Mercedes. Nimesema mimi na hii nyumba yangu. Hii nyumba yangu nimefunika na suti. Na hii nyumba yangu nimefunika viatu. Hii nyumba hii. Hei, itamutumikia mungu. Haleluya. Kama wa utakata kauli hivyo, muke wangu wakata kauli hivyo, saitani ya meenda. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Kwa ni kuna, kuna siru, siru loti ya liambiwa toke, kutachomeka kule sodo managomora. Muke waki alisikia. Si alifikiri, alianza kuona ile nyongo, na ile mushena walikuwa nafanyaka huku, na wali walikuwa na shendeka na haya, kala kazikia motho, hey, nina wanga niya mania hea, hiyo peke yake. Kwa hiyo waku wakichwa moja na nanina mume wake, angesikia mume wake. Mwema wake kashika watoto wawiri wa siyana kwa misisi tuende. Ana wafosi waende wangalia mbele. Kwa hivyo ni wewe. Hata si mwema wako. Ni wewe na wewe mwenyewe na wewe mwenyewe. Tumikia buwana. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ufarmu wa mungu siwa kampane. Ufarmu wa mungu na mungu tipinafsi. Vile ni tasikia mungu leo. Siwa vile utasikia mungu leo. Jumbe zimehubiru hapa leo. Vile umesikia. Siwa mungina mesikia. Nilipuwa kwa darasa, darasa form 4. Nikuwa nafanya biology, lakini mungu yangu alikuwa nafanya sciences, ya linichida sana. Alikuwa na anangonga sana ma science, vili kuwa nafanya business. Hey. Mwalimu wakakuja, akasema neno fulani hapa. Sijua alisema neno gani. Akasema, wacha niseme neno fulani. Akasema labda, Jesus is coming soon. Akaambia huyu. Akaambia huyu. Wakaenda, wakaenda, wakaenda. Kufika pala walisema, Saitani is coming soon. People change information. Hata za haini kisema tuseme, tuseme kitu wapa. Iende hivi, iende hivi. Because it depends on the way you hear things. You need to have spiritual ears to hear the things of the kingdom. Hata ujumbe za leo na za kesho. Wewe sikiaka na masikia kiroho. 
Unaweza uliza mtu ulisikia nyama nakasema mapisho pokuwa anasema ati tuende siku hizi tuende ni mtu ametumwa kusambaratisha imani ya Bwana. But remember where you came from. Remember where God has taken you. Remember what you have belongs to God. Remember the business you have is belongs to God. Remember your children are God's children. Remember your wife is, a, is not the property of you as a, a, a servant of God. Na mimi na mke wangu tukiwa hivyo kila mtu ashika mahali pake tutaenda mbele. Sasa Joshua akasema mimi nimeona msikio yote. Nimewaambia vile tumetolewa mahali tumetolewa vile tumefanywa. Nimewaambia vile Mungu ametufanyia. Mimi kama kiongozi wenu hamunisiki lakini mimi nimeamua. Kuna mahali nafikaka unaamua. Hata wanasemaga na ukikuyu ati mofia afati tegea veri rete. You know wewe sipatia mtu akikafujo. Si ni mtu anataka yeye mwenyewe. Nasema hata nataka nataka kuosoa. Kuna mwingine ataona maji aogope nini baridi. Lakini kuna mtu amesema leo ana, analia leo lazima nitumbukizwe tumbuliu nitoke limengara I challenge you love God individually worship the Lord individually Hata saa zingine wacha kuomba ma, maombi mke wako akuya hapo kuna mambo mengine sio bagi mke wangu akuya hapo na tuko sawa sawa she is my immediate neighbor hapa Lakini kuna mahali nataka hata yeye kwanza yeye ndio anafanyaka sana hivyo naweza kuta mke wangu ametoka kuna, kuna kitu anataka kuambia Mungu kuhusu mimi na hataki nisikie anaanaisema ana, 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 kitule onani ona hata mimi so we go to a closet tunaenda mahali fulani unapiga kelele na Mungu wako kuna mambo unaweza yambia Mungu mke wako akisikianga kwa sababu ufalme ni wawe na Mungu wako na uokovu uh, ni wawe na Mungu wako mke wako atapiga magoti mbele zako na watoto wako mbele yako lakini wewe peke yako kwa hivyo kuna mambo nataka kuambia Mungu mambo serious huyu mke wangu na upenda kuwafujwa lakini sasa naomba Bwana unanena maneno asisikie maana akisikia atadhatia maombi haleluya Hiyo <laughs> ndio kuomba individually sema amen Tafuta a place for yourself to go pray alone Kuna mahali tunaomba kama familia sema amen na tunyashika mikono lakini kwa mahali mimi naandaka peke yangu na jificha i love my bishop bishop anatoka kivia kwa mnakuta mahali fulani he haduga yeye kwa maho ya mamudu we wika sema amen toto hata kwa hiyo uya tena naongea nanyi na shuga ile dalambo ile dehele gachuku ya kuigiria madeno natataga na attitude maombi yake ni mahali naenda kwa hiyo mimi naandaka on my own close na kama naambia mungu mungu na natoa yote hasiki vile mimi nasema Nasema Mungu inua mke wangu. Mungu naenda wacha mke wangu akose amani mpaka tuende kanisani asubuhi na mapema. Aga dai wa ikarela getike kwa hiyo tarehe mchumwa le kare. Haya ya twende, 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 twende. Haleluya. Nakumbuke ufalme huu ni wetu na watu wetu. Lakini ni wetu na watu wetu. Wewe ndio kwanza unataka umbepe na Mungu. Shika Mungu asubuhi sema good morning holy spirit I love you like the man wewe ni wangu Yesu nakupenda It look very stupid but Jesus never says thank you Maudu ma ile mamba inaonekana ni ya kiupuzi kwa wanadamu kwa Mungu si ya kiupuzi Sema amen Nikimaliza kuna maono mmoja kana member the bible is it Jeremiah or Isaiah aliambiwa toka asubuhi uende ukanihubiri na utue nguo zako zote Akavaa nguo ya natural dress akaenda miaka mitatu bishop anazajua ni wapi akihubiri Yesu akiwa uchi ado makia kile kuigua makiona jaga yake akiwa nacho dadi watakuja wakaribia na wakikabia waone wanaona Yesu Mungu anaweza fanya chochote God can do anything kwa sababu waamu wao ni dakora haleluya na sisemi ati utembee uchi tadi watu wasikie hata kuna mwingine aliambiwa akande mkate wa chapati na mavi ya, ya, ya ngombe eh hey, ni nani hey, kuna ako hapo Kambio kwenda unipigia mkate na mafi ya ngombe. You cannot question the oracles of God. Just do that which God tells you to do. But number one thing, do not forget where you came from. I am deciding next year kwanza, njiu inakuja, misi itasawo mahali mungu wa mentua. Mutu kama mimi nilienda ngambo na hata siku wenda kwa sababi ya kusoma. Nilikuwa natoka kwenda kwenda nje. Na ona, unajua barabara ya kwenda kwenda na ambiaga watu yiku hapa moro. Barabara ya moro yiku hapa kwenda. Ya, ya kwenda ngambo. Dege zote zianena ngambo zinapita titurukana na zinapita hapo kwetu. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa natoka nikiwa na kinyasa na ulimo. You know maudu mara mwa onaka kana ulimo kule yado kwa Mungu sio ulimo. Nilikuwa nasema nasema dege marua gua ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> It is called confession brings possession. My brothers would have seen me as a stupid fella. 
But in heaven God was collecting something. Hey, mwaka hii nimekuja na ndege mara saba mpaka nimepoweka sasa. Na nenda ina kakaro ipoteke kuwa na maro haleluya utoto haleluya. Those things that look so childish in the eyes of God to God to, in the eyes of men to God be glory. Sema amen. Sema amen. Just do something for God without fearing nobody. Usiogope mtu atasema nini? Maana ukiogopa mtu hautafanyia mtu kitu. Ingia in your own kokuru jifungia hapo. Ambia Mungu nena na mimi, nena na mimi. Nena na mimi. Mimi mwenyewe. Na usitaki bibi yako asikie. Tulienda siku moja Mombasa na mke wangu kwa ile eh, conference ya Rai eh, 2006. Tulipoenda nilikuwa nimeuza ka 544 kangu ka mwisho kale nilikuwa nimetoka nako London. Na ndio kanaleta chumbi na mkate na hata kanyama. Na, tu, na tumeuza hiyo gari tumeingia full time ministry kati kule Moro. Alafu tuko kwa kanisa ya Rai hapo na Rai anasema sasa kuna mtu hapa ametafuta visa miaka kadhaa amenyimwa katika upako wa leo panda begu na hiyo begu imefungua eh mke wangu naye anachikanga haraka na tulikuwa na 10000 kwa kwa kwa, kwa bank 10000 hata kuku anacheki siku hizo ananiambia nimeshika hiyo nimeshika hiyo si wewe unataka kwenda ngambo nitakushikia hiyo maana kwa niamba yako nikaona huyu tukienda nyumbani tunpeane ile 10000 nani atatauliza mkata iko wapi na chumbi na mafuta ya mtoto ya shule si ni mimi nikaumiza nikauma ngoro nikasema mm, mm, mm. lakini alikuwa amesikia signo ya Mungu ukisikia signo usikaralia tukatoa 10000 do you know after 3 years that's when i came to get a visa na niliandikiwa barua na my bishop imagine nilikuwa nimebeba na usifanye hivyo tafadhali kama unakuja ngambo usifanye hivyo nilikuwa nimebeba mataito ya, ya kukopa mataito nilikuwa nimebeba nimeweka failo hapa hivi na nilikuwa nimepiga picha za jirani za grade, eh, eh, zero grazing mapicha mnono nikiuliza sasa mimi nakuaga na nachunga ngombe za grade ujinga yani ujinga unajua ujinga Mungu saikini unajua Mungu akitaka kukubariki hata ufanye ujinga atakubariki tu maana anajua wewe ni nani nimebeba mataitwa my brothers hapo na nimewekewa pesa 1300 kwa account yangu na my brother in law ili nikiruzo hii pesa unajua siku hiyo walikuwa nauliza account iko na pesa ngapi nikaweka na naruza sasa wakiniuliza pesa itatoka kwa 350 imetoka wapi nikakuja na kistaile nyingine kasema kulikuwa na vita kwetu nimekata mitu yangu yote nimeuza nikapita mapicha mapicha ya forest nikapiga mapicha miti imeanguka huko hiyo ni miti yangu niliuza nikale nilikuwa nimechipanga kumbe hata hakuna kitu tunaitwa kama hiyo maana Mungu akisema amekubariki amekubariki niliitishwa barua ya bishop Gatimo Nikaulizwa unaenda ngambo kwa nini? Nimeenda kuona graduation ndugu yetu. Kwa nini unameandikiwa una barua na kanisa? Nikasema kwa sababu mimi ni mtumishi wa kanisa. Wapi moro? Nimengoja, nimepanga hizo mataito za wenyewe hapa. Hata nikiulizwa nitupe wakati nitoe tu karatasi haraka haraka. Hata nikaambia ulikuwa kanisa Jumapili eh. Ulihubiri nini? Hiyo ndio ilikuwa ilikuwa nini? Interview. Na mataito za uongo. Unajua Mungu anaona sisi ni wajinga lakini ika mjinga yangu. Katajua mimi ni nani? Nikaulizwa kwa dirisha namba 7 watu wanaijua namba 7 nilikuwa nikizungumguti. Nikaambi ulihubiri nini Sande? Nikasema nilihubiri namba hata sikuwa nimehubiri hiyo bishop. Maana sikuwa natarajia nihubiri lakini anataka kunijaribu na what I am called for. Ujisifanye ngombe, usijava usijifanye ati ni mtu ambaye unajua sana. Kaa tu kwa laini yako. Nikakatelea kwa laini tu ya mchungaji. Mchungaji anajua namba bishop ameandikia barua na, na mzee ule alisaini hata hiyo barua. Barua imepakwa mafuta. Sasa so, nikaru ulihubiri ni Sunday nikasema ni rubi kuhusu namba na huyo uh, mtu kanambia namba ni so what so what na malingo na madharau na mimi nikakamua nikasema namba alikuwa ni mwanaume alikuwa na jeshi mia moja naongea na, na kizungu sasa na alikuwa ako na ugonjwa ya mangu na kulikuwa kasichana kalishikwa mateka hako kasichana kakaambia bibi yake kama mtumishi huyu angejua kuna mtumishi Israeli akana I stop hiyo tu peke yake akaniambia Nikafikiri nimehubiria yeye na, na nilihubiri alitaka kujaribu kama mimi nimhubi sababu nimepewa barua na muhubi my bishop aliniambia umenifurahisha sana kuja Tuesday for your visa sema amen kwa hivyo sio mataito na mapicha when god says yes nobody can say no i pray that the lord is going to say yes today for you naomba mungu aseme yes kwa leo naomba mungu aseme ndio kwa leo maana akisema ndio hakuna mtu atasema hapana na ukipewa kuna mtu atakotunya hey! 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 finally ile kitu najua fanya sana ile kitu najua fanya sana 
kuna mama mmoja kule kwetu ngambo anamaliza alikuja akiwa mama tu kama rika yako na, na rika yako unajiona vile huko na rika yako akaja akiwa ni mama ambaye ni mjane alipokuja huko kule kwetu kuna shida ya kupata makaratasi na ni mama hajui kizungu akiambia yes na anasema no yes I, opposite hajui kizungu sasa tukaona huyu tutampeleka kweli kazi ya kufanya hii kazi ya home inaitwa hii home care maana ni wazungu anaangoa nao lakini kuna kitu walikuwa wamejua kutoka Kenya usidhao kile unajua fanyisha haraka sana kile umejua si kile ninajua huyo mama tukaanza kumtafutia atuka, unajua ni what can you do unaweza fika huku manake huku unaweza fika bila kulizwa kitu unaweza fanya kazi ya ya kukata nyasi hawezi lakini akacha mimi nikiwa Kenya nilikuwa nakamuaga ngombe zangu lakini mume wangu alikufa na akaniacha alikuwa amefiwa na mume ni mjane alikuwa amefiwa na mume unaelewa anasema nini akasema mimi ile kitu naweza fanya kabisa ni ya kukamua ngombe kukamua ngombe sema kukamua ngombe sasa naye kukaa kuna mwanaume mwingine katika mashamba northwest naye anatafuta mtu akakuanga ngombe maana zimekuwa chache na zimekamuliwa na mashini zimekuwa chache tukapelekea yeye huyo mama ambaye anakamuaga ngombe sema haleluya Mama kaomba vidole vyake vilikuwa hapa mafuta. Haleluya. Alishika nyondo nyamna ile kwa chwa 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 chwa. Eh mzungu anaangalia. Ndio inajaa. Na kule wanaweza wanafanya na mashini na mashini na ndaribu ng'ombe inakamua mpaka inakamua damu. Sasa ng'ombe mpaka inakula vizuri. Ni radha hiyo nyondo ni kutha hiyo dha hiyo dha hiyo dha hiyo ina ikaja ikaja. Ule mama akapewa kazi ya kuwanga ng'ombe. Na yule mzungu bishop alikuwa amepoteza mume wa, mke wake naye alikuwa hana mke. Hey, what God can do no man can do. Sema amen. God is going to realign our program to his own program. Allow God to realign his your program to his own program. Ushiteze usijidharao. Sasa alipotema huyu ni mjane na mimi ni mjane ni nini kinaweza tuma tusiyoane? kutoka kukamua ngombe kuwa mwenye ngombe haleluya Mungu anaweza fanya hivyo God can do that God is looking at the intent of your heart makusudi ya moyo wako ni nini na kile unajua usifanye kile mtu mwingine anafanya fanya hiko sana sana na Mungu awabariki Neema Bwana iwatoshe Bwana awabariki sana Ule ujube mtu anapewa uh, ule ujube wa kustua mtu ndio wa roho. Nimwambia wewe utahubiri hapa. Najua aliingia ali jana asubuhi akona jet lag lakini upako ni ule ule. Najua kuna baraka umepokea. Amen. Thank you Bishop Sugar. Thank you uh, my sister mke wake. Na wacha niite Sugar. Sugar kuja hapa. Sasa uh, Shioga Huyu jamaa huwa mrefu hivyo. Uh, mama alitoa mama alifikisha hapa mzee akaongeza hapa. And, and incidentally wao wadogo walefu mungu waongoza tu kwa dada wafupi. Kuja hapa koi. Koi koi. Na mwitaka koi kwa maana jua mama na mwita koi. Aha. Now how are you? Na kui leo mji. Unijua beba hivi dio. At least. Akibishaya na huyu. 